Hello and welcome back to the Intella Parts Company YouTube channel. My name is Paul and today we have a Yale forklift with us. It is a Yale Verocitor model GLP 080 VX. It's a K183 serial number. Today we're going to show you how to identify your model number and your serial number and what those numbers actually mean. So as we've seen on this particular Yale, we have a model number of GLP080VXNKAE094. Now what exactly does that mean? Well, luckily, Yale's broken that down for us and I happen to have the decoder ring to figure that out for you. So let's start from the beginning. The GL in the model number tells me that this is a gas truck with liquid propane. P tells me it's a pneumatic tire. So I know I have a gas propane pneumatic tire lift just from the first three letters in that model number. The next set of numbers, 080, that's gonna tell me the capacity. Now, that you take that 80 and you multiply it by 100 and it gives you the capacity. So this particular lift, this is an 8,000 pound capacity lift. The next two letters, V and X, don't tell you a whole lot really. The V, that's just your model designation and X is your design series. The N, that tells me this is a North America truck. Now, if it's a different letter, it might be a European use truck or a Japanese truck designed to use over there. Those, when they bring those over to the U.S., those are your gray market trucks. Very hard to find parts for. The next letter, the K, that's your engine designation. High Yale have used quite a few different engine manufacturers throughout the years. But that K on this one tells me that it has a Kubota engine in it. In particular, it's a 3.8 liter. That letter is not going to tell you the what size motor you have. It's just going to tell you the manufacturer, whether it's a Mazda, a GM motor, Perkins Diesel, Kubota. Older trucks are going to have like International Harvester, Continental engines. But it gives us an idea. Because if we can figure out what year that your truck is, Typically, there's only a couple engines that they ran for each particular model throughout the years. The only exception really being the Mazda 2.0 and 2.2 gas and propane engines. The A tells me I have an automatic transmission. This one in particular has the electronic power shift, which is a really nice, really nice transmission. Usually you don't have a whole lot of issues with them. The E that tells me that I have a triplex mass. Now triplex is telling me it's a three stage. So when, when looking at stages, you're gonna go look at the front of your mast and count those upright channels on one side. If you have one, that's a simplex, single lift. If you have two, it's a duplex, three is triplex. This particular one has a triplex mast on it. And that last set of numbers, 094, that's your collapsed mast height in inches. So this mast, when it's all the way down on the floor, is 94 inches tall. Well, hopefully now you know how to properly identify your Yale's model and serial number. If you do have any questions, give us a call. Shoot us a text, send us an email, or visit our website at teleparts.com and chat with one of our live experts. My name is Paul, and we'll see you in the next video.